All right, Liberty City, this is your talk radio show, Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Let's go to the phones. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Hey, you ever had possum? That's some good eating. Nah, uh, <laughs> I really can't say I have. Well, you ought to try it sometime. I tell you, man, it's good eating. Possum, raccoon, even zebra meat C- cooks up pretty good. Uh, do you have anything else to say, or? Pigeons. Pigeons are good, too. Sometimes they come with notes attached, just like a fortune cookie with wings. Squirrel. Squirrels are not so good. They taste like goldfish. Meat's real stringy. You know what I mean? Um, actually, I can't say that I do. Um, but, but if I did eat too much squirrel and put on a few extra pounds, I'd use the Dormatron. Unlike those other exercise machines that require you to be awake, the Dormatron actually exercises you overnight. Let's learn a little bit more about it. I've tried everything, and I just couldn't keep those extra 200 pounds off. It started to affect my marriage. She was too big for me, and I'll sleep with anything. The abdominatrix, the thigh size, the tummy stapling. I've had my mouth sewn up, my hands chopped off. You name it, I've tried it. Yeah, except for exercising and eating right, Porky. That's right, honey. Then I found the Dormatron. Using a new technology called Biorhythmic Subconscious Gymnastics, the Dormatron exercises you while you sleep. Just strap in your arms and legs, put on the Dormatron headset, then wrap yourself in the space special high voltage electric blanket. Turn it on to 11 and burn those pounds away while you have a relaxing night's sleep. Now that I've lost 280 pounds, my husband's all mine again. That's right, honey. No more escort services for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1-800-SLEEP-OFF-LARD or visit www.sleepofflard.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me feel better. The new Maibatsu Monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, what a, that's a good commercial. I, I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Lazlo. Is that your real name? Huh? Of course it's my real name. Are you Hungarian? <laughs> uh, no, I'm from upstate. Are you sure that's not a fake radio name like Andy or Bobo? I thought all those radio people had fake names. Do you have a question or you just want to sit here and talk all day about my name? No, that's it. Love the show, Laszlo. Or Mark. Or John. Or Beverly. Whatever your name is. All right, next caller, you're on Chatterbox. What is on your mind? Burnips. Root vegetables. You know, albino carrots, as they're known back home. Okay, here's the deal. This isn't gardening with Maurice. That's on later. No, he got taken off the air. He lied. I know he did. I've been trying to make a hybrid of a peach and a Pekingese midget fighting bitch for the last two years. And it is impossible. Impossible, I tell you. Okay, and speaking of impossible, Jane from Cedar Grove is on the line, and she wants to talk about how difficult it is being a parent today. Hello, Jane. Hi, Laszlo. I love the show. I'm a first-time caller. I wanted to say something about these video games. They are warping our kids' minds. My son's dog, Bugo, got hit by a truck, and he says, Mommy, Mommy, where's the reset button? Kids these days, they think life is a game. Well, it's not a game, Laszlo. It is very, very serious. I let my kid play video games, and now he runs around the house looking for gold coins. This is teaching our children to go chase money. My little Sam's been playing this new video game called Pogo the Monkey. Yeah, I've heard of that one. The shop teacher called me today, and Sam made a homemade banana cannon in shop class and was lobbing them across the street at a fast food restaurant. And it's all because of video games. Laszlo, life does not have a reset button. Right, but this show does. Ah, I love that button. You know, it's never a dull moment on this show, especially if you're in our key demographic. Love media. Bringing people and the finest in entertainment together. All right. Hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. I want to talk about that Spank stuff. People say it's bad for you. It's not bad for you at all. Why aren't you talking? Oh, you think I'm strange? Am I on the air? Hello? Answer me, you pansy. Uh, What's your question? Spank! 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 (laughs) What about it? I mean, that's not really a question. Questions usually start with words like how and why, and and they end with your voice going up like this. Don't mock me. I know where you work. You're just like all the rest. How's that? Fluoride is evil, dude. And toothpaste, they use it to control us. Why do you think all the commercials tell you to brush it twice a day? <laughs> I've read books. And what book have you been reading that tells you that toothpaste is evil? Dentures, The Devil, and The Great Cavity Cover-Up by J. Phil Higginbottom. If you'd seen what I've seen, and if you've heard what I've heard, you'd never brush your teeth again. 
Uh, I suppose you're one of those people that says that diet soda makes you go crazy later in life. I told you before, man. Don't mock me. My taxes pay your salary, you pansy. Yes, sir, uh, this is a commercial radio station owned by Love Media. Advertising revenue pays my salary. And on that note, it's been two full minutes since a commercial. But I'd like to say, if anyone else is stressed, might I recommend Equinox from Zaibatsu Pharmaceuticals. We'll be back after these important messages. Sell out! I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything at work. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox is new from Zybatsu Pharmaceuticals. Ask your doctor about Equinox today. Equinox may cause nausea, loss of sleep, blurred vision, leakage, kidney problems, and breathing irregularities. Do not take Equinox if you're operating heavy machinery, driving a car pregnant, a childbearing age, unhappy, or off a family history of mental disorders. Equinox, softening life's harsh realities. Tonight, the TV event that will make history, Liberty City Survivor. This takes reality TV to a whole new level. We'll take 20 recently paroled guys, equip them with grenade launchers and flamethrowers, and let them hunt each other down. It's the reality show where you just might be part of the action. I was grabbing a sandwich at the Happy Blimp, and all of a sudden these guys crashed through the window and started shooting at each other. I was so excited, I didn't even notice I'd been hit. After that, I was hooked on Liberty City Survivor. I watch it every day in the hospital. The game doesn't end until there's only one man left standing. Tune in nightly or watch the 24-hour live webcast. <laughs> Liberty City Survivor. Natural Selection has come home. Sponsored by Ammunition. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Call us on the Chatter line to tell us what's on your mind. Line four, you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Liberty City Cox Roll! Ah, that's lovely, thanks. Next caller, you're on Chatterbox. That last guy was so full of crap. Everyone knows women are made from sand. Okay, great. Another lunatic. Hello, next caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, you were talking about short guys and attitudes. Well, you know, you'd have an attitude, too, if you couldn't reach the friggin' cheesy swirls at the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it seems like the whole world's against you. I mean... You know, we're not talking about you. What kind of egomaniac are you? You got your own show. How about letting other people talk for a change? You're all the same, you giants. Oh, I'm tall. I'm so important. Listen to me talk about my tall stuff. I think I'll put this on the top shelf. Hey, what's the weather like down there? How's it going, short stuff? Can you get that? You're closer. Why so sad, Pee-wee? Who do you think you are? Short people are people, too. All right, another award-winning show on Chatterbox. Today we're talking about anything, it seems. If you have something to say about anything, call now. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. Love hearing people's opinions. That's what made this country great. People and opinions and stuff. Most of all, guns. I had it with people whining about guns kill people. Guns don't kill people. Death kills people. Ask a doctor. It's a medical fact. You can't die from a bullet. You can die from a cardiac arrest or organ failure or major hemorrhage. Small piece of metal ain't the problem. Besides, I only use my machine gun in the safety of my own home and car. I ain't hurting nobody. And countries that don't have guns ain't American. You, you know, that's a really good point. Countries that don't have guns aren't American. You know, if more people had guns, we'd have less shootings in this country. <sighs> All right, we're going over here to line two. Hello, caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, I'd like to say something about taxes. You mean the Lone Star State? No, taxes. Well, you know, look, taxes are really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. And now the state wants him to pay taxes on the money he wins from that stuff? Buy your own lottery tickets, you know? Hey. Good point. I think that's a lesson to us all. All right. Hello, you are on Chatterbox. Hello, Laszlo. I'm a first-time caller. I recently moved to Liberty City from Hampshire in England. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, Laszlo. Yes, yes, I, I do like it here. There's one thing, though, that, that's very different and rather worrying. When I was a boy in England, I had a nanny. She was very strict, Laszlo. Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America, you know. Well, well I'm sure. But the, but the thing is, Laszlo, when, when, when I was a naughty boy, I, 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 I would get spanked. Na nanny, nanny would spank me when I was naughty. And now, now Freddy needs a nanny, because when Freddy's naughty, he needs to get spanked. Well, there's some child psychologists who probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. Ab ab absolute rot, Laszlo. It's lovely. Freddy needs a nanny. He needs a nanny, Laszlo, because Freddy's been a very naughty boy. H how old is your son? Excuse me? 
How old is your son? I don't have children. I can't stand the little brats. But Freddy needs a nap. All right, that's enough of him. God, who gave this guy a green card? This is Chatterbox. We're talking about short guys, nannies, taxes, and anything sane you'd like to bring to the party. Hello, you are on Chatterbox. I was listening to that caller about taxes. His views were a little extreme. How do you expect to be a responsible member of society if you don't understand how the government spends your money? Why are people afraid of numbers? Sine and cosine are two of the most elegant and incredible discoveries of humanity. I mean, the Cartesian coordinate system has an elemental power I find liberating and even sexy. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Okay, thanks for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. When we come back, we'll have a special studio guest. Special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize! ...and not. Oh, I wonder if wrestling's on tonight. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I only spent $20,000, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. Thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head 3D virtual reality polka literally anywhere. If it's a flash in the pan technology of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of Tomorrow. Remember, only technology makes life worth living. House of Tomorrow. We'll upgrade your system, then you can upgrade your life. And now it is my great pleasure to welcome Fernando Martinez, who it uh, says here is the founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, Laszlo. It is an honor to be here. I feel blessed. Ah, thanks. So tell me about Fernando's New Beginnings. Truly, Laszlo, it is a miracle, a blessing. It is a revolution in the marriage guidance. For my people, marriage is, how do you say, sacred. The bond between the father and the mother, it is made in heaven and in the bedroom, if you know what I mean. Uh, I think so. (laughs) For my people, it is the holiest, most sacrosanct thing imaginable, like a church. Yet, for it to be a happy marriage, it must also be like a brothel. The woman, she must be many, many arts, be skilled in making house, cooking, changing the diapers on the babies, and she must also be a whore. A vixen in the bedroom, imaginative, exotic, constantly fresh. It is impossible. You change diapers and then you are a French maid? Fernando thinks not. Fernando knows not. Well, I mean, you know, it's an age-old problem. I mean, how do you keep the excitement in a marriage? Excitement, exactly. Passion, danger. How, Laszlo? How? Tell me how, and I give you a big, big kiss. Like I gave a woman. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like I gave a woman or even a donkey. Because, because you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems like bliss. I, I wasn't really up for kissing on air. I mean, why not, Laszlo? Am I not attractive? Am I not irresistible even to you? Well, no matter. Why all this talking about kissing? I mean, you brought it up. No, my friend. You say you not want to kiss me. I was talking how to say hypothetically to make me all personal. It's a big difference. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Laszlo, your wife, she looked like yesterday's dinner after I eat. You're not so happy. It's a big difference, my friend. Anyway. The marriage is impossible, Laszlo. If a man was born an angel, maybe impossible. But a man is born a man. And a man with knees, he needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical. A dream. Un sueño. So he starts flirting with his secretary, takes her out for a drink. One thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wanderer. A dreamer. A man who has knees. But an idiot. And I can save you. And I can save your marriage. 